everybody, I'm Ryu, and in this video we're going to discuss six things that I think will help your chances of getting on a team in the esports game of your choosing that don't require actual skill at the game. That doesn't mean you can be terrible, just watch the video. Disclaimer. Now I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. The things in this video are not going to guarantee you results. Nothing in life is a guarantee. I'm not going to promise you're going to get signed by your favorite team next week. I'm not going to promise you're going to get signed by any team ever. There's just things in this that I think would be valuable and that could help you on your journey if it is a goal of yours to get on a team at some point in the future. Also, as a creature of habit, I say you guys and guys a lot. This can apply if you're a male, if you're a female, if you're both or neither or whatever genders are exist in 2017. I don't personally care. I think the advice would be beneficial for anybody. Hey, no, let's roll it. Number one, have fun and be fun to play with. I know it sounds really simple and really basic. You'd be surprised how many people are absolutely miserable all the time. Like all the time. You're just a fun person to be around if you're having a good time and you can have a good time whether you're playing bad or your teammates are playing bad and you can be uplifting. People will want to play with you. Now compare that to the opposite, right? Someone that can never have a good time. Someone who's always miserable. Someone that's just an, a living, breathing sunshine vacuum. Nobody wants that guy on their team. Don't be that guy. Have fun. Be fun to play with. Deuces, aka number two. This second one can be a little bit of a difficult habit to break if you are this type of person. But don't be the guy that feels the need to point out other people's mistakes or blame somebody else all the time every single round. Even if they made the mistake and it cost your team the round or the match, don't be that guy. People, when they make a mistake, most of the time they know it. And if they don't, they probably don't want some guy yelling at them about it. So don't be that guy. And then flipping that around, people appreciate it if when you make a mistake that you own it and you just say like, dude, that's my bad, that was a bad flash, or I shouldn't have pushed there, I shouldn't have vaulted there, whatever it is, people appreciate that. So don't go blaming other people, don't point out their mistakes, don't be that guy, but be the guy who, when he makes a mistake, owns it himself. Now the more I think about it, the more the first two points kind of fall into one larger bucket that I think should go without saying, but the fact that I felt the need to say it says that maybe does need to be said. Well, it basically boils down to this. Don't be an asshole. That's basically the first two points. Trace, also known as number three. Now this third one is something that's near and dear to my heart. I think it's super important. It always gets overlooked, it seems like, by players on basically every level of the game, of almost all games in the esports world. And that's basically to build your brand and to build the awareness of your brand. If people don't know that you exist as a player, they're not gonna think of you when their team needs one. So get out there, stream your games, show people the skills that you have and the way you play and how much fun you're having. Let people know you're looking for a team. Post and looking for team threads or looking for team groups or forums or whatever on the ESEA website or in Reddit posts or join the Discord servers. You have to put that out there and it'll help you and it'll help the people looking because then A, they know you're there and B, if they're looking for a silly team to kind of stream and have fun with and you're not really feeling that and they say, hey, looking for serious team, wanna go pro, you're not gonna waste their time, they're not gonna waste your time, everybody wins. I've said this before a couple times on my stream, if you're the best player in the world and nobody knows who you are and nobody knows it, it doesn't do anybody any good. So spend a little bit of time, build your personal brand, engage, let people know you're looking for a team, and that should increase your chances of finding a team, of getting on a team, and starting to pursue whatever your long-term goal is. Number four. This fourth one is a virtue that you should apply to essentially everything in your life. And simply to have patience. Just because you're good in the past couple of matches doesn't mean everybody in the world's gonna take notice and immediately start messaging you to have you join their team. It's gonna take a while. Take me for an example. If you wanted to see my journey to being a professional in CSGO, I was a backup for a team for a couple seasons because of work. Then there was a couple seasons of Premiere. It wasn't like it took me three months, six months, and it wasn't like all the teams were just wanting to pick me up and sign me to their team. It took a while. It took a long time and I was pretty bad. Most of you watching this are probably way better players than I was. So have patience. It's gonna take you a little bit of time. If you stay at it and you do the other things right, it will probably work out in time. Now you might not get on a pro team, you might not be the new fifth for Cloud9 or Optic or the tier one organizations in the region, but doesn't mean it's not gonna happen. Just realize there's only five spots on those rosters. A lot of the time they're not gonna be making those changes, but if you wanna have an opportunity, you need to be in it for the long haul. You can't be looking to play one season of open, have really good stats, and expect all the best teams in the world are gonna immediately wanna add you to their roster. Doesn't work like that, life doesn't work like that, so have patience. Number five, fool. Finally, number five 
If all else fails, if you've had no interest from any of the other teams, you're a good teammate, you're fun to play with, you're not an asshole, you don't rage, you put in the work, people know you're looking for a team, you've had a ton of patience, it's been several years, it's probably time that you start to consider starting your own team. It's not difficult, you hit the register team button, you find people that are similar skill or similar goals, you pick them up, you sign them to your team, and you just start playing. So many teams and so many players have started that way. They grind their way up, they do it the old school way, where they're not expecting to just have a good season and then get, immediately get signed to a tier one org. They actually work really hard, they win their matches, they get better, they improve as a team, they improve as a person and as a player, and over time, their team gets noticed, then the players on the team get noticed, and you can either go pro as that team getting signed to an org, or maybe another org takes notice of the, the work that you've done, and they wanna sign you. It's been a tried and true way throughout history for teams and players to get recognized this way. It does require a little bit of a different personality, but if all else fails, option number five, start the team yourself. Number six. God, that was terrible. I'm using this though. I was just about to start editing the five reasons that I came up with, and then I thought of this one, which I think is really important because I've so many players fall into this trap. And number six is simply stop making excuses. And listen, it, you might be the best player, the best option available for a given team, and they might not choose you. Guess what? Life isn't fair. Maybe that should be number six. Number six. Life's not fair. Sometimes everything else will be in your favor and one thing doesn't work out. Maybe it's the timing, maybe it's somebody on the other team thinks something about you, maybe there's a rumor going around. Doesn't matter what it is, life in general is not fair. So sometimes things aren't gonna work out the way that you had planned or the way that you had hoped and you need to get over it. So stop making excuses, recognize that things aren't fair, have patience, do the other things right, and maybe in time it'll work out. No, there's a very good chance that in the long run, it doesn't. It is extremely difficult to become a professional player in most of the today's like tier one esports titles. Not a lot of people are gonna be able to do it. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, but you have to understand that excuses aren't gonna help you one way or the other. Stop making excuses, life's not fair, deal with it. And there you have it, six things that I think can help you increase your chances of getting on a team. Appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you didn't cringe too hard, I would really appreciate it if you were to hit that subscribe button, which I think will probably be popping up like over here. I'm really bad at this. But really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and leave any questions, comments, complaints, insults, etc. in the comment section. I will see you guys on the next video.